Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honor Duck and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 with the newest DLC, Rights of Man. We're playing on very hard and with Lucky Nation set to historical. Welcome back. Um, in the last episode we were called into a war that Brandenburg has started um, just uh, before the episode ended. Uh, they are attacking Saxony for their claim on Wittenberg. And uh, we are going to be... <laughs> We will be doing some advanced strategies that you have to know about as Emperor especially. So our plan is going to be to snipe all these provinces from under Bavaria. We're not going to flip the occupation to them. You you can you can change the occupation of a province if you take it to your ally. We're not going to do that, which will only leave them the option of taking money and maybe war reparations from their enemy. I'm going to do the same for Anhalt, their ally. I doubt that they have any interest in taking Frankfurt over there. But we basically do not want Brandenburg to grow any further. I have to sort of uh, really put a stopgap in there. And since they called me into the war, um, I might as well do my utmost to hamper their growth. <laughs> because, yeah, we, we don't want them to to snap all these, all these guys up. Um, I do have claims on all these border provinces. I don't think they will give me any of those claims. And well, that's fine, actually. That's fine. I can live with that. Mm, I would like to break out uh, Thuringia over here, Thuringen. But um, if I do that, if I separate peace out, it will, um, it will piss Brandenburg off. And... Uh, then they can negotiate uh, whatever peace deal they want. This, by uh, by the way, is a um, mm, a center of reformation. So um, the the center of reformations for the reformed um, faith look like that, a smashed uh, statue, and a center of reformation for the Protestants looks like that, um, sort of a, a Wittenberg church. So. That's kind of a thing. And these these sort of spread their, their ungodly faith um, into neighboring provinces. We really have to try and take this from from Bohemia and convert it. Because then, then it will stop converting stuff, right? Uh, we had a couple of princes flip. Not too many yet. Not too many yet. And uh, at some point we'll be able to flip these back. Uh, but for now... Um, they are slowly but surely converting the Holy Roman Empire to be a bad, bad place that totally saps our authority. You can see that we're already losing 0 0.06. That is already uh, two-thirds of what we're losing because 18 provinces are under control of someone else. So that's that's really bad. I don't like it. <laughs> and we still have a lot of member states, 32. Um, but it could definitely be better in terms of imperial authority. What is... Uh, Mainz might actually slip at some point, and Cologne as well. So what we might want to do... We're nearly done with Switzerland, um, so let's call you back. Mm, and we're going to apply that diplomat to Mainz. Now, yeah, let's, let's start our underhanded ways. <laughs> um, I'm still waiting for... Oh, and we have we have a bunch of new stuff um, just loaded into the game. It's a new recording session. People are joining the military coalition, and Burgundy is now my rival. Friesland has entered a military coalition. Yeah, a lot of these a lot of these guys um, do that. Pomerania have said Brandenburg as their rival. Burgundy no longer considers England as their rival. You, ah, oh yeah, I guess because England has no um, no more continental possessions. In fact, <coughs> sorry. In fact, France has a, an island possession over here with Kent, which I find hilarious. <laughs> if there's one rule as England, it is that you gotta defend your island. If any of the great powers gets onto your island, you're screwed. Um, because they can always they can land troops there very easily, and um, they can make your life hell. I'm just I'm just saying. Um, but. Uh, even though I complain about it, it really does please me because that means that the AI is finally capable of doing naval invasions and stuff when they're strong enough. I like it. Um, you can see that um, Spain and France have their own problems with uh, zealots and um, the spread of religion. Not that it... What? That place is Sunni? Portugal has been erased. 
That's some weird stuff down there, but I I guess it kind of makes sense actually because if Castile is not there to protect Portugal and to sort of project their own sphere, um, they're not going to do a lot of politics down there. So Morocco can do what they want and it looks like they wanted to take over Portugal and they already trying to convert it. <laughs> Funny, very funny. <laughs> yeah, well, let's let's get back to our war. We got uh, a lot of stuff to do. Um, I might sort of turn down a couple of my couple of my buildings. Although, yeah, maybe not. Um, Frankfurt hired army from Ostfriesland. That's fine, I guess. Another ten k in this war doesn't make me too happy. But what can you do? And I really want to build a, um, a place over there. We're reaching the military power cap and I'm still over time. So that might not be a good idea. These guys are uh, moving over. Hmm. I think what I'll do is sort of send um, units of 1k into these provinces that are not defended by a fort. That should help us. Um, Brabant is now blockading me or embargoing me in Flanders because we do have Burgundy as our rival now. But we are allied with France, so I'm not too worried. Uh, yeah, Mainz. You gotta stay on our good side, buddy. I really don't want them to, to switch their vote. <laughs> Because if they switch it to one of the other electors, I mean, they can't switch it to Bohemia because they aren't Catholic. They can't switch it to Brandenburg. But they could switch it to Württemberg or Saxony because those are still Catholic. And then they might back themselves and that might create a problem for us. Uh, we can't really have a, a bad succession there. I'm going to try to take these lands over. We're not going to go for for a decisive battle there. And I can't really use my stack over here because we're still waiting for the Mainzian separatists. I really hope they they pop at some point. Yeah, I'm sort of sort of trying to snipe. Brandenburg is busy fighting. Mm, this Mecklenburgian army is going to get smashed. That's not good. We're gonna merge them and we're gonna get uh, out of there because I don't want to take them on singularly. Um, what I would like to do is take these guys out. That's definitely a thing and we will be the defender because they are in the woods there. So let's try that. Frankfurt hired uh, a regiment from Burgundy. Really? <laughs> okay then, go on. You underhanded sons of guns. Yeah, I think I should make this into a state. Um, yeah, we'll pay us more money if we do it. Cost us 0 0.06 while raising our income by 0.13. So why not? Let's do it. We still have plenty of states to, to get. Um, and we, we could call this. Yeah, let's do it. Let's call it. Why not? So we're standing over here now. Um... This is not going too well. We have a lot of enemy troops now on the other side. Uh, we might not even have to have to snipe, particularly. I mean, we're strong. Brandenburg is marching through my troops, you idiot. Come on, dude. Would be kind of nice if uh, the rebels popped right now. 12th of August, 10th of August. Just trying to get away from them. They're just wasting my manpower with their nonsense. What I cannot have happen is um, losing my cause. That's not a thing. I really want a fort over here. It would pay for itself. <coughs> oh yeah, and I have to I have to give land away. No, I didn't. I already gave the soup faults uh, to the nobility, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. I do want to go for another milit for uh, for our first military idea next, if we can get something out of it. 
Now what cannot happen is that Saxony wins this. That cannot be a thing. So I gotta fight here. I'm gonna try to smash those groups. Um, I guess I gotta ignore the mine scene separatists for now. So I think we're gonna go after these guys. It's not a lot of not a lot of guys. No, oh, and we have these guys in Pilsen. It's not gonna destroy our progress over there, and we do have the fort activated, but it's still annoying as hell. Okay, we won that battle. Let's go and uh, sort of deal with our rebels. Hmm, I will bring my other troops over here. Oh, they're sieging down my capital! Really? Austria wants to rent Condottieri to us. How many do they want to rent? 951. 150 up front <laughs> with a bad general. Hmm. Hmm. I'm really not very much involved in this. I mean, I do sort of have the money. The problem is that Burgundy joined this, um, this nonsense, which is a big problem. Because they're they're trying to they're trying to take us out. I maybe I should just siege down Frankfurt to take them out of the war. Mm. It's another it's another fifteen k that are moving around. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, Austria. Yeah, and that that definitely stopped them from sieging over there. Okay, these guys are yeah. These guys are gonna take care of my of my rebels here, which is nice. <laughs> That's definitely very nice. Uh, let's take these one thousand men, get over there to siege that one down, and then we'll and yeah, we're done with mines. We're done with improving relations with mines. I think I gotta ignore the rebels over there. So I still sort of want to snipe the stuff. Let's go over here. Let's go to Pfalz. At least they're they're doing something over here. I think we have hold have to hold on to the to the alliance with Austria. Now, um, definitely want to send one guy over here, and then I just want to leave a siege complement. So all the cannons and a couple of other men, and the rest can go. This is being taken back. Yeah, they're fighting my rebels. I like it. Mm, we might want to siege down Frankfurt. I'm not sure, but yeah. Uh, the Condottieri that got involved <laughs> are definitely changing the landscape of this war. <coughs> Let's go after Anhalt. And interestingly enough, the more people get involved... Um, um, the more dangerous it becomes because Burgundy can rent out troops to um, Frankfurt but I think they're also renting out yeah they're renting out troops to Anhalt as well so um, they can dole out all their armies <laughs> just to piss me off um, <coughs> sorry one young man in our diplomatic corps has distinguished himself significantly he's a truly gifted individual and utterly loyal to Bavaria our nation will benefit from his work for a long time um, diplomatic relations, aggressive expansion impact, can gain 20 papal influence, or he will be a servant of the empire. Normally, <clears throat> I will go for that. Mm, I mean, I could still use that to bestow grace on people. That might not be a bad idea. Let's do it. Let's do it. I mean, currently, it is ticking down. But still, I guess I gotta take every imperial authority that I can get I guess I think maybe so we're gonna try to siege down that place mm, what I could do is I could send all my cannons into this province that's a Saxon army 
they might want to... Yeah, they're attacking me in in Anhalt. Let's hope that uh, that these guys join me. Come on, Brandenburg, where are you going? Yeah, okay, yeah, good. So they're coming, 31st of December, 28th of December. We're going to have a fight on our hands there. But uh, I think the other guys have it in hand. So that looks good. We will soon be done in calling this province. I'm really looking forward to having no overextension anymore. Because that's not good. Man, this is ticking down very fast. <laughs> um, decline of the nobility has expired. So they're up to 72% influence. That's not that's not great. I can't really be helped. Um, let's take all these guys. And we're going to take our son, who is a great siege leader. Bring them in. I'm going to siege this thing down ASAP. Hey, Austria! You cowardly gits. Huh. Well, what can you do? Now that... That definitely did something for us here. I think I'm going to bring all the um, I'm going to bring all the infantry out, but one. I mean, this is looking good. We're winning this, so we should be on the way to victory over here without giving Brandenburg the chance of completely taking this over. Okay, and we're done coring. That's good. That's good. This this battle is still raging on. Definitely going to lose a lot of troops there. I really don't like it. Pisses me off that we're losing troops in such a battle. But I really have to hold on to Brandenburg for a little while longer. Yeah, these guys changed their, changed their vote. Why are you doing that, buddy? Why are you doing that? Come on, mites. Um, I guess we got to bestow the Imperial Grace. Yeah, let's use one Imperial Authority for that. That should make them much happier. Yeah, and indeed they are. Um, and I think we need to bring up relations with Cologne as well. Who is leading that siege? Me. Alright then. We're done with uh, improving with Brunswick. Yeah, these guys are still pissed. <coughs> They're really pissed. That's not good. Are you guys still in... Yeah, you're also pissed. These guys are pissed, but I think I'm nearly done improving with them. Well, let's do a little bit there. Okay, we're sieging down both places. Mm, but I think what I'm going to do is... I think we're going to bring out most of these guys. Let's bring all of these guys out so that we don't get attrition. I really have to look after my manpower here. I'm going to leave the cannons in there. And I'm not going to fight anymore. I'm going to leave that to Brandenburg whilst I stab them in the back. <coughs> I'm sorry for the coughing. I'm, I'm still fighting a cold. I'm not doing the... The best job of it. Just taking huge amounts of vitamin C to sort of boost my immune system. Yeah, it's doing a, a, an okay job for me. It certainly shortens the time that you're ill, but I can't skip every illness. And we've taken a loan. We have that looming disaster over here, the religious turmoil as well. Not looking forward to that. Uh, so we've won the Siege of Saxon, which is very good. So let's take... Let's take our cannons here. <coughs> Although, no. I think what we're going to do... I think what we're going to do is we're going to move this army over to Anhalt. I mean, Saxony is, uh, is fought down now. They're no longer in a state to do much. Let's bring you over. We still have not had the Mainzian Separatists. We're going to gain Separatism. That's not good. I don't have a fortress over there. Okay, so let's bring these guys out. We're going to have our better siege leader in there. And the 10 cannons. That should really make a difference. That's give, that gives us a um, bonus on the siege roll. So the next roll should be way better. Yeah, we had, 
we had a, we had rolled a two. That is now not possible. And yeah, next time we're gonna roll at least an eight. At least an eight. Mm. So we do have the Imperial Guard over here. Neither of these armies does have any cannons. Hmm. Let's merge them. Oh, we have only yeah, we're still missing that that one infantry regiment. I guess I'm gonna shuffle guess I'm gonna shuffle these guys around, give you that general. Bring you over to Pfalz. It has to be twenty-two. Because if the, if I have rebels over there and they rebel, I mean I could go for <coughs> I could go and and hold them down. Oh, we have a hundred percent now for the Mainzian separatists, so they're gonna rebel instantly, I guess. Oh well, so be it. Yeah, I thought that that might happen. Maybe they'll take care of it for me. Maybe, maybe not. No, it doesn't look like it. That's not good. But yeah, I'm gaining the military power. And I, yeah, <laughs> I cannot improve a province that is under siege. But the problem is. I only have a month or so to do what I want to do there. Come on guys, move it. We're gonna lose that siege. Can't be that difficult. Can't wait for the force march. Um, admin tech 15. That was once in an idea group, but it was just too good. So everyone had to take that idea group. I'm glad they pulled that out of the idea group. We're nearly there. We might arrive in time. The question is, can we win it as well? Okay, we're done with Switzerland. Oh, let's hope we can win this. We're rolling well though. Nine and one. That's a lot. No, that wasn't such a great roll. And another great roll. Yeah, we should be able to do this. Without gaining the additional separatism. The separatism is just bad. Oh, that's not that's not too great. That's okay. I wonder what I get the the, the terrain. I Brandenburg in conquest of Wittenberg. Oh, it's done. We're out of there. Okay. I guess that's fine. How many did we lose? 12,000, 12,000, 13,000. 21, 16, 400, and 4,000. Okay. War reparations, some money. We're getting 68 ducats out of this. So that's that's less than what we, what we used. But we gained 13 favors out of this. We lost the humiliate rival castle spelly against Saxony. I guess because we have a truce, that might be uh, the reason for that. Um, there's the Imperial Guard, so let's take five of these guys and these guys to sort of join them, and the others can go down. I mean, we did what we could. Yeah, now we are now we are up there in terms of military power. That's not good. Well, we won this. I, and I sort of want to develop this because um, I want to build a fort there. It might not be that important, but it sort of looks to me like uh, a good place for a fort. It would protect Heidelberg. I could just build another fort in Heidelberg as well. I mean... But I, I want this as sort of a defense against Burgundy. I just have to develop this by one to build a fort. Mm, but it is farmland, so building a fort there doesn't really provide us with any benefit. Whilst uh, we have the woods over here, <coughs> which give us, um, which give every attacker a minus one penalty. Uh, so that's pretty good. Austria has laid claim to the throne of Hungary. That's not good. I really hope they don't become sort of their their crazy f uh, self with uh, the personal union over Hungary. Let's hope that that does not happen. That would be bad. Um, well, let's do it. Let's develop this thing. Okay. And then let's go for another loan. And then I can build a fortress over here. It's 181. It's fine. 
I could gain 10% off of that if I if I waited a little bit um, for my admin points to go to grow back, but that's just not how we roll. Mm, okay, I've got these guys. I'm gonna bring them to Regensburg. No, that's the that's the emperor. Burgundy is no longer renting out their army. Uh, we sort of have to stop renting this uh, from them as well. Yeah, thanks Austria. That has been sort of useful. I mean, I could have kept them around for a little while, but I don't really want to pay for them. At least we gained some money out of this. Mm, we do have to reinforce. Oh! Uh, improvements in production tech. There are reports of farmers and miners being more productive than local bailiffs expect them to be. We should investigate if there's something that the entire nation of Bavaria can benefit from. Gain 50 admin power for 0.5 inflation. Yes, please. That's great. We really wanna really wanna go up in in the powers. Um, we do have more power projection. Uh, over 50, which definitely does help. And we'll sort of go after Bohemia soon enough again. I think. Uh, we're done improving with Pomerania. 38. That's still not great. Um, Cologne doesn't like us very much. Let's try to do that. Yeah, we're, we're not done improving the relations. We still have a crap ton of aggressive expansion. I mean, they're still voting for us. Our succession is safe at the moment. It's kind of stressful to always have the succession in mind, but um, we're doing okay there. How's France? 88. That's okay. How's Brandenburg? Yeah, we could do something there. Let's up our trust with them. I I really don't want to attack them, but at some point a, um, a Protestant elector will be a problem. That that would be a problem. Sort of 1550, um, the relig religious wars might trigger. And Brandenburg is by now the biggest Protestant state by far. I mean, because I sort of curtailed um, Bohemia. And then we have only Switzerland, but if you have a look at the development of Switzerland, then you see that Switzerland looks big on the map, but they're actually not that big. Um, they have a development of 62, which is basically the development of uh, uh, München, Nuremberg and Heidelberg. So these three provinces of mine do have about the same development as all of Switzerland over here. <coughs> So they're, they're not they're not strong. Let's have a look at their army. Um, military armies. Uh, Switzerland, where are you? Over here. So they have 16,000 men. They are in no way any sort of threat. Can we go up in army size? No, we're already at 46 of 46. So I guess that's fine. I think we've got to bring down our army maintenance. And I think we also got to bring down our... Our fortresses um, to save a little bit uh, of money okay our leaders are our leaders are out there that's good um, yeah let's let's mothball all the forts we're gonna gain another fort soonish um, really don't like our money situation at some point I have to take away Tyrol from Austria it's not gonna happen right now well in any case I'm gonna end it here I think this war went went pretty well for us I did what I what I set out to do which was to stop Brandenburg from expanding. And they sort of even liked me for it, <laughs> which is good. Um, let's just send them a diplomat to improve relations with them. Uh, we're improving with Cologne. We have these. I think we should also improve with Württemberg just to make that uh, election rock solid. But uh, yeah, for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.